trainer Charles Glass. We're back in business with Adam Kirby, our main man, getting ready for the Mr. Venice Beach this year. Charles, what do we got today? Well, today we're gonna start with shoulders. Um, we're gonna try to put a little bit more caps on these shoulders so we're working them hard and pull these traps up so we can work that area really hard. Charles, did anybody ever lose the show because their shoulders were too big? Never. Exactly. You know she's going straight up to the side, which is a side lateral. Most of us say lateral, but if lateral could be forward or rear, I mean back. So what we're trying to do is show strictly sides, so we're just keeping it right on the side delt. There you go, come on. If you ever notice, it's a slightly bend in the arm. It's not straight, but it's a slight bend in it. All right, this is the normal conventional way of doing it. Now, the way I have my guys do it, ready? So what I have my guys do is we also take our hands, twist it to the side from the very beginning. Now our palms are facing back, so we just raise it straight out so we stay on the delt from the start to the finish. Here we go. Ready? Straight out. Here we go. There you go. Come on. Keep your hands back a little bit toward me. There you go. Good. Now you hit more of the direct cap of the shoulder. This way you don't have to worry about using a lot of heavy weight because you don't need it. But man, does it attack that delt. That's it. Good. Come on. Come on. That's it. Come on. Push it up there. Good. Turn those elbows up. Elbows up to the ceiling. There you go. Good. Do it again. Elbows up. Last one here. Last one. Come on. Good. Oh. If you notice, there's a lot of stress right in this area here and nowhere else. You really don't need much weight to die. It also yes. limits the amount of weight you can use. So now you don't have to worry about trying to throw it, get your whole body involved. All you use is just dump. And by obviously by doing them seated, you're isolating even more so. I noticed Adam's only got 20 pound dumbbells. I've seen guys, we had Johnny Jackson here last year with the hundreds, literally throwing them up there. I mean, obviously one of the stronger guys out there. Yeah, but if we do it this way, that hundred will cut down. Yeah. <laughs> Real quick, huh, Adam? <laughs> Want to try some hundreds? See what, uh, keep pace with Johnny Jackson. That's okay. I like my shoulders and my joints. <laughs> right, our next movement we're going to do, we're going to switch it to front raise. Now, my front raise is a little different also. We do it variations of it. Sometimes we do it with dumbbell, we do it with a barbell, we do it with uh, a plate. It just depends on what we're trying to do for that day. Today, since we have the dumbbells here, we're going to use the dumbbell. And obviously, variation is, is the key to keeping muscle growing and, and breaking down muscle tissue. Always shock the muscle. Shocking the muscle. You can't always just stick to the same thing. you got to shock those muscles. Normal way of doing it. That's your normal way, just to bring it straight up and turn. But what we do, we bring it straight up into the front, squeezing the delt. Bring it out just a little bit. Turn it. There you go. Now we put it on top of the delt. Look at the front delt. If you look at, notice the front delt here. There you go. Look at the difference. That's good. Squeeze it in, squeeze it. There you go. If you notice that's a little slight twist, so you're turning the dumbbell out, but you keep it on top of the front delt. We're not trying to bring other muscles involved, so we just hit the front delt. That's it. Good. Do it again. That's good. Come on. Come on. Bring it up and squeeze. Good. Try to make the tail in the dumbbell touch. There you go. Good. One more. One more. Come on. Bring it up and squeeze. Good. Woo. I normally hit rear delts on back day because most of my work is, if you look at it, where's your rear delt? It's in the back. Right. So why not just finish it off with the back? Every now and then we'll do rear delt just, just for the sake of doing it sure. with the shoulders. But mainly we just try to hit just the three heads of the, I mean two heads of the delt. So we hit the front and the medial head. And it works out better for us. Then on the back day, we'll go harder by hitting the rear delt. Sure. We're gonna do a press movement right now. And we're gonna use the Smith machine because now we don't worry about getting hurt or anything. Because mm -hmm. we can do it real strict and we do some pauses that I like to do. So this is almost like a pre-exhaust uh, workout. Yes, because now, think about it. If you fatigue the muscle here, you don't have to go heavy doing a press. Now you won't get hurt. Right, so a you don't have to be throwing uh, three plates on the Smith machine and, right. and risking injury. Right. Smith machine, let's do it. All right, you notice we got a, a nice tight grip because we're trying to keep the pressure off the joints. 
You normally see guys go really wide, but the first thing takes the beating is the joints, not so much the muscle. So we catch it a little tighter than that. And we also do like the old military, because we keep our elbows front, and we push up and down. Here we go. You notice everything's real tight inside. Nice, even press. There you go. That's it. Good. Press it up. Put those elbows in front. There you go. Come on. That's it. Give me three. Give me two. Give me one. All right. All right. There you go. Good set. Good set. All right, Charles, you have to explain this one now because we have an angle that's completely upright. Right. So we have no okay. angle on this whatsoever. Okay. I'm Arms trying are in to keep... front, and I notice he's using his nose as a gauge as right. for his depth. Because if you go past that, that point, now you open yourself up to injury. Mm -hmm. We don't want the injury, so we stop right about the nose there and we push it back. If you notice, straight up and down, that's how you should do a press. Uh -huh. If you're leaning back at all, first thing you engage is what? Your upper pack again. Yeah, because most the of these that we see, obviously, that the uh, the chair's back a little bit, right. maybe maybe uh, 60 degrees or 75, even if it's very high. But you're getting that pec a little bit. I'm right. trying to keep the pec totally out of the movement and just place most emphasis on the depth. Gotcha. Now we're going to do what we call a power press. That's what we call it. We're gonna bring it down, let it come to a complete stop at the bottom, and from here, fire back up. Make sure you have a safety here. <laughs> this machine simply has a safety, so it makes it easy for us to do. Here we go. Okay. Bring it down. Ready? Up. Press. There you go. Good. Up. Come on. That's it. Good. Do it again. Complete stop. Relax. Fire it off. Now. That's it. Now we can go to. Upright rows, we do that, it's a little different. Normally people catch it real close grip. What we do, we catch it very wide so it only attacks the shoulders and not the traps. It's time for the playoffs, it's the NBA Jams. WrestleMania, here comes another body slam. Smash the half pipe, my boy's flying in the air. Call the wave so big, I made the whole beach stare. We're not trying to hit the traps, so we do it all the way out as far as we can get to go and only raise our up so far. You're not trying to throw it up, it's a nice pull. Here we go. There you go, now, bring it up, good. You know there's a slight angle in his body because he's trying to keep it on the delt. There you go, come on. Good, bring it up, bring it up. Good, focus it here, focus. There you go, look at this part of the muscle. That's what we're working, right there. Come on, two more. Last one coming up. Good, slide it back. Now Charles, I'll notice this is much different than what we used to traditionally do because traditional upright rows are very close together and very high, which are very bad for the shoulders. But what are you working though? You get a lot of trap involved. Not exactly. just necessarily the shoulders, right? Right. So we want the depth to work, so we put our arms out. It's like you're doing anything else, put them way out, and we finish the movement. It's only about to here. Because to get to go anywhere else, you gotta pull your traps in or you gotta roll it back, and now you're just left the depth. So obviously taking a wider grip is much safer for the uh, the shoulder, the joints, uh, everything involved obviously, and uh, getting a little bit of the traps and the delts in. We're hitting the muscle we need to hit, but we're not attacking the joints. The joints are free and clear. Look, that's delt. Where's the joint? None. He's only going about this high. See? Nowhere, but the shoulders are taking a beating. I mean, they're so tight right there. Now. Come on. Good. Bring it up. Come on. Squeeze. There you go. Squeeze. Come on. Give me three. Give me three. Two more. Last one. Step back. It's easy to do what you got to do. So when you first pick it up, you step out, you slide the hands, and you go in the perfect position. Charles, I noticed just like we used the gauge on the Smith machine where he's using his nose, you know, that, that mouth area, on here you're doing the complete opposite. He's using the lower pecs. So always a good idea to kind of take a focal point that you can use that you have the same motion every single time and it's in the range that you want to be using. Yes. It, if you notice, most people try to do what? They try to bring it way too high in the first way place. Way too high. And now they're using other muscles. You stay with the delt. You just get that focal point, you stay there, and every single time it's on the money. I like that color shirt you got there today. Yeah, yeah, not bad, man. We look like bookends. You should have called me, man. We're just switched up. Tag team. <laughs> WWE, look out. Check, check. Yeah, yeah. Yo, yo. I'm 
the sound of the sun and moon colliding Bow. On the sound of your battle, your words fighting <laughs> Style sever for real, raps that hail upon my reflex Okay, Charlie, we just seen some shoulder training with Adam Specifically front and side uh, Obviously taking the rear delts out of the equation We're going to put those on with back uh, If you could just review a little bit, what did we just saw? Well, the main thing we were trying to do is, like I said, focus on the delt area And that's the front and the side so when you first start out with our side laterals, we tried to show you the conventional way of doing it, and then we also showed you a different way with a little twist to it. All right, from there with our front raise. Front raise is front raise, no matter what you do. Mm -hmm. You're trying to squeeze that front delt, and that's like all you want to work. From there we went to our pressing movement. And I try to use the Smith machine only because it's safe. Sure. Especially when you pre-fatigue the muscle, you want to stay as safe as possible. So we used the Smith machine, and we also did one what we call the press. It's like a hard press. And all that is is bring it down, stopping the movement, complete stop, and then firing it off again. That way we get the smaller muscle groups. And we get those little small intricate muscles to work more. Sure. So now we get the full effect of the muscle being worked. And another advantage of the Smith machine also is that you can actually set up exactly where you want to be right. uh, as opposed to a free weight, which are nice, of course, and we use plenty of free weights in our training. But it's very difficult to get that bar off and in the position like that. Like you said, the last thing you want to be doing at that point is putting yourself in, in risk for injury. Plus, especially when you pre-fatigue yourself. Because now, the first thing you pull off is like a drop down on you. Now you're like starting down in here trying to get it back up. Now you have the joints working more, and you don't want that to happen. Mm -hmm. See? So, but then from there, we went to our wide grip upright roll, which is the polishing effect for the whole thing. But like I said, we hit a lot of front and side delt, and that's all we was concerned with. We'll get some food in the uh, gut, because we know you need to replenish. That's right. That's right. We're only breaking down muscle tissue in the gym, Charles, right? We break it down, but we feed it right back up, so it's great. We'll see you next time on Getting Cut with Glass. Mm -hmm.